My name is Karina Fengler, and I hope that in the next five to ten minutes, you'll get to know who I am just a little bit better. I grew up in Southampton. It's a quiet town out on the tip of Long Island, just a little bit before Montauk. And it's quiet most of the year, but in the summer, our beaches attract a lot of people, and things get a little crazy. I was born February 9th, 1994, in Southampton Town Hospital to my two parents, Sibylla von Kempen and Michael Fangler, the one all the way on the right. My mom's my everything. She's my rock, she's my friend, and she's someone I can turn to when anything is wrong, and she just doesn't judge, and she loves me for who I am. When I was 10, my mom got remarried to my stepdad, Garrett von Kempen. And then there are the dogs, Luna, Parker, and Neo, who are a pretty big part of my household. In fact, they're probably more like my siblings than my actual siblings are. Just kidding, guys. So there's Neo, who pretty much eats and destroys everything. Then there's Parker, who's the youngest and the sweetheart, although he growls quite a bit. And then there's Luna, who likes to snuggle and cuddle with every person that she sees. So my dogs are three Great Danes, so they kind of take up a lot of time and space in my house. My parents walk them for an hour every day and bring them to work, and they're just a big part of my family. They're sweet, they're loving, and they're always there. They're just adorable. Next are my brothers. Now I have two older brothers, so you can only imagine the hell that I went through with fights and debates brutalizing, terrorizing, that they called character building that has made me the person I am today. There's my older brother Stefan who's into things like crossbows and battle tactics and he was definitely the brother that tested my backbone and made sure I was ready to go out into the world. And then there's my brother Kyle who's into art and drawing and video games. He was definitely the one I leaned on a lot when I needed someone to talk to. It was these guys who really developed my knack for debating and fighting for what I believed in because at our dinner table, it was definitely hard to get a word in edgewise with these guys around. My family is my support system. My mom, my dad, my stepdad, my dogs, my brothers. They're my foundation. They're the ones that I lean on when things get tough and they're the ones I always come back to at the end of the day. I love them, they love me, and they've really shaped who I am and made my life stable and understandable. I'm a person who likes a lot of different things. I love nature. I love being outdoors. It's the one place I can find peace. I feel myself. I feel attuned to everything. It's amazing. I'm really into sports. I played softball and volleyball at the varsity level in high school and I actually played football with the boys in eighth grade for one year. It was pretty awesome. I love photography. Taking pictures is one thing that really calms me. I love to bake. I actually spent the summer baking bread at my grandmother's store. One of my greatest passions is astronomy. I have always loved astronomy ever since I was little. My dad used to take us out to the graveyard across the street and we would watch the stars and we watched meteor showers. It was gorgeous and it changed my life. I actually considered being an astronomy teacher after high school until music came into my life. I've played the violin for 14 years, and I grew up in school playing an orchestra. I played an orchestra from kindergarten until the end of my senior year, and that's how I really got introduced to music. That's where I developed my love for everything musical, and just the sounds, the, the feelings, the colors that come with music. In high school, I joined my first women's choir, and I joined the school choir, and I just found that I loved singing. I took voice lessons. I starred in the school musicals. I just couldn't get enough of it. It was amazing, and it was sometime during junior year that I realized I wanted this to be my life. I wanted this to be my profession, and so I came to Westminster, and I knew that I wanted to teach from the minute I decided music was going to be my life, that I wanted to pass it on to other students. And what I really believe as a teacher is I want to have a classroom where I can push the kids, I can teach them, I can help them learn while still knowing who they are and never losing that. And here at Westminster is the best place to be because here is, there's a sense of community, there's a sense of love, 
family. I've met all the people that I think will help me become a better person and become a better teacher. We all rely on each other and we're all here. I've never had a family this big and I've never had an experience push me this much. But I know here that I can do anything and that I'll become the teacher that I need to be, the teacher that I want to be, and the teacher that I choose to be. My family here means a lot to me, as does pushing myself further to become a great music educator. And this is who I am.